So instead of just giving you a boring old dry written list of the gear that I've uh, managed to accumulate in a couple of years as a bass player, I thought I'd actually give you a little visual tour of them. Mm -hmm. So back in uh, February 2014, I began my adventure as a bass player by purchasing this lovely ESP LTD 4 string and a thunderous 15 watt power amp. <laughs> Can't go wrong with them. My goodness, feel the power. Eh, uh, so yeah, this was my beginnings. Sitting in my bedroom, struggling to fret notes and the like. And yeah, it was good. Done a lot of my early practicing with this setup. And Thor pretty much is still my main base. Yeah. Eh, uh, but unfortunately, Thor, Thor suffered a bit of an injury in the line of battle. I had to get into Luthiers for a couple of weeks and I thought there's no way I can survive two weeks without a base. So, no possible way. What did I do? Did I sit at home and cry? Did I curse the luck of Thor getting injured? No. No, 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 no. I just went out and bought another one. Oh, yeah. This is my Ibanez acoustic. Mm -hmm. Nice little guitar. By all the reviews of them, they're not the loudest of acoustics, but it does me ideal for those long hot summer nights around the campfire. Mm -hmm. Jamming with your friends or whatever. Came in handy when I was first uh, when I was first doing songs with one of the guys for the church. I used to take this round to his house because it was nice and easy. You didn't need to worry about plugging in amps. Mm -hmm. um, but recently I learned a very important lesson because of this here guitar. Oh, I should remember to say. So we've met Thor already. He's the four, the four string thunder bringer. This here is Angela, because in the in the comics books, Angela is a uh, Thor's daughter, which kind of makes her. No, sorry, Od Odin's daughter. Yes. Which sort of makes her Thor's sister. So I thought, seeing this was slightly classier of my guitars, she would be the, the lady one. Mm -hmm. And so she's became Angela. But uh, I learned a very important lesson because of this guitar. During my recent bad weather, my car got snowed in about half a mile from the house and my two electric bases were in the boot, along with two of the texts that I've been using to further my musical knowledge, one of them being Phil Mann's first chord tone books, mm -hmm. and the other was uh, Ariana Katz's music theory for the bass player. So I'm at home, getting a bit of cabin fever because we're snowed in, broke out the acoustic, and you know what? I just played for fun. I wasn't thinking about learning songs or learning a new technique or some kind of theory. I just played for fun and it reminded me that's what music needs to be about. Mm -hmm. I know we need to get better and learn things and improve as musicians, but we've got to have fun as well. Yes. Play with a smile on your face. Which yeah. I don't always do because I'm having to concentrate super hard. <laughs> but anyway, there also came a time where I thought, do you know what? Four strings and 15 watts just ain't enough. So what do you do? You head down to your local guitar store again, don't you? Yep. And you purchase this BG250 12-inch mm -hmm. speaker from TC Electronics. Yeah. It's got the cool little tone print thing. I don't know if you can see it very well because the light's not very good. But the tone print basically just gives you some fancy little effects that you can use. I use the compression in the overdrive a little bit. It's got a pretty good tuner. I've matched it up against mm -hmm. the the clip-on tuner that I've got and it's uh, it's pretty accurate. It does me. Got all I need. Uh, and it sounds pretty sweet. Yep. But as I say, not only was I needing more wattage, I was needing more strings as well. We play a lot of songs in E and so if I wasn't playing an open E, I was having to fret and I was a little bit higher, like I like bass to be bass, so I wanted mm. an E that I could play on here, but then go deeper again. So, we got ourselves a five, went on holiday to Norwich a few years ago, 
went into a guitar shop just for a little nosy around mm -hmm. and uh, that cheeky little guitar salesman did his Jedi mind trick on me and ten minutes later I was a few hundred pounds down and a bass guitar up. So this, so strip. we've met, we've met Thor, we've met Angela, this is mm -hmm. Odin because he's the daddy. Yep. He's got his big beefy B string. Yeah. So let's see what uh, Odin sounds like. Pretty cool, huh? But I also bought myself something that makes Odin sound a little bit cooler. Actually, in the, in the owner's manual for this MXR envelope filter, it actually tells you that if you don't make the funny faces when you're playing it, the pedal won't work. So yeah, it's a uh, like mouth gesture enabled. Yeah. It tracks your mouth movement. Very sophisticated. Now, I actually haven't found a sensible use for this yet. It's just loads of fun. Yeah. But it's something I'm looking forward to. I've not had a lot of practice with it yet. But, uh, I'm looking to do a little kind of solo thing round about a G, D, E minor C chord progression uh, and that's why I bought a little pedal that lets me do this No hands! No hands! No hands! <laughs> See, I've not had a lot of practice with it, so it's still a bit messy when I use it. But, uh, but I'm looking forward to getting into that. So what I'm doing basically with the, the chord progression that I'm using, uh, I'm just trying to find as many different techniques as I can of playing it. So I'm just playing it normally, and then I'm doing a kind of double stop thing with the root and the octave. Then I'm tapping it as well, playing it as chords, and uh, I'm actually going to try and slap it as well and see how that all works together. And I'm going to see if I can blend them all together using the looper to make something that sounds mm. kind of cool. That's a work in progress, but I thought I would show you anyway because it is part of my ever-expanding bass gear. I do, uh, I do jokingly have another bass. Uh, he's called Loki, and the reason that, behind that is he doesn't always work because he's got a little electronics problem. Mm. And so as we know, well, ended it's into the... The comics and that knows that Loki's a little bit mischievous and so is this with the guitar. Truckster. Because sometimes he'll play and sometimes he won't. Hmm. I'm currently thinking about converting it into a fretless and changing the electronics, but I don't know yet. Uh, I'm also thinking about buying a Harley Benton do-it-yourself kit. Ooh. Because they're apparently pretty good. And I've heard some... I've read some things on the internet saying that if you don't get the fretless necks matched up properly with the body, you can have some problems. I don't know if I'm right there, but what I'm hearing about the Harley Benton kits, they're pretty good, so I might just bin Loki and uh, go with the DIY because I quite fancy a fretless as well. That's us so far, my little family of three bases, yep. Thor, Angela and Odin. And my groovy little noisemakers on the floor there, yeah. which really serve no purpose just now, apart from so cool. me to have some fun with. Yeah. Okay, hope you've enjoyed oh, this. Oh, and some amplification. Oh yeah, can't forget the amp. Really like it. Nice and loud, I know yeah. the neighbours. But yeah, eventually it's going to go, if Robert can point the camera up to that hatch there, <coughs> that's the loft hatch, which is eventually going to take us to the music room. So we won't annoy the neighbours as much up there. Mm -hmm. Anyway, have fun, keep grooving, and eh... Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Much thumbs. Oh, yeah.